our current understanding of the Big Bang theory suggests that it is the farthest point back in time that we can observe, and everything beyond that point is shrouded in mystery. However, there are alternative theories and perspectives that challenge this understanding. One possible theory is that the single point we observe at the beginning of the Big Bang represents a singularity, a point where the laws of physics as we know them break down. According to quantum mechanics, this singularity would have occupied all four dimensions of time-space and been entangled with every particle in the universe. This means that everything we see today, including galaxies, stars and planets, could have arisen from a single point. Another perspective is that the universe's uniformity on large scales suggests that it could be a further resolved image of the evolutionary paths of that single point. This idea is supported by the detection of galaxies that would have formed too early according to the Big Bang model, which could indicate that the universe's evolution is more complex than we previously thought. The concept of entanglement in quantum mechanics also raises the possibility that the single point could be connected to an infinite beyond that we cannot measure. This idea is supported by the fact that the universe's large-scale structure could be the accumulation of possibilities allowed for by quantum mechanics. Furthermore, the recent detection of dark matter and energy through their gravitational lensing effects suggests that these phenomena could be right-handed neutrinos, which would challenge our current understanding of the universe's composition. Finally, while black holes have not been directly observed, their existence is inferred from the way they distort space-time around them. It's possible that some of these distortions could be caused by Big Bang-like points that expand too quickly for four-dimensional math to account. In conclusion, while the Big Bang theory provides a useful framework for understanding the universe's origins, there are still many unanswered questions and alternative perspectives that challenge our current understanding. Quantum mechanics, gravitational lensing and the detection of dark matter and energy all provide new insights into the nature of the universe and its possible origins. Here are some proposed theories that could fundamentally expand our current understanding of the universe. The multiverse hypothesis. Building on the idea that the single point we observe at the Big Bang could represent a singularity, some scientists propose that our universe is just one of many in an infinite multiverse. According to this theory, every time a universe undergoes a Big Bang-like event, it creates a new singularity that gives rise to its own unique universe. This means that there could be an infinite number of universes beyond our own, each with its own set of physical laws and properties. The Omniverse Model Another theory that challenges our current understanding of the Big Bang is the inflationary multiverse hypothesis. According to this theory, our universe is just one small part of a vast multidimensional space where every point represents a unique universe with its own set of physical laws. The inflationary multiverse theory proposes that our universe underwent a rapid expansion in the very early stages of its formation, which could have created a large number of parallel universes that may even depend on each other. In this scene, we introduce another intriguing theory that challenges the conventional Big Bang understanding, the cyclic model. This theory posits that the universe undergoes cycles of expansion and contraction, with each cycle sparking a new Big Bang-like event. Imagine the universe as a cosmic accordion, expanding and contracting over and over again. According to this model, the universe we observe today is just one of many cycles. Each cycle could potentially give rise to a new and distinct universe with its own unique properties. This theory shakes our conventional understanding of the Big Bang by suggesting that the universe is not necessarily eternal in its current form, but instead undergoes cycles of expansion and contraction. The most intriguing part of this theory is that these cycles may not even reach the singularity point, the theoretical point of infinite density, which is thought to have given birth to our universe. Instead, each cycle might bounce or tunnel near this singularity, creating a new universe without having to go through a singularity. This theory, while still speculative, opens up a whole new perspective on the nature of the cosmos and indicates how much we still have to learn about the origins and destiny of our universe. In our quest to understand the universe's origins, we encounter a variety of theories that take the cyclic universe idea further, 
Each theory adds a unique perspective to our cosmic journey. First up, we have the cyclic quantum gravity theory. This theory sees the universe as a cyclical sequence of quantum gravity events. Each event triggers a new Big Bang moment, birthing a distinct universe. We, in our observable universe, are just part of one such cycle. Next is the time loop theory. It suggests the Big Bang is part of an infinite time loop, with each cycle creating a new universe. Our universe, according to this theory, is merely one cycle in this infinite loop. Then there's the fractal universe theory. It argues that the universe is self-referential, containing all the information necessary to create and sustain its existence. This theory challenges the single event Big Bang theory, proposing instead a self-contained system that evolves over time. Brain cosmology is another intriguing proposition. It suggests our universe is a four-dimensional brain or membrane, floating in a higher dimensional space called the bulk. The Big Bang in this theory could have been caused by our brain colliding with another in the bulk. The quantum foam theory sees space-time as quantum foam, a fluctuating structure at the smallest scales. This theory suggests the Big Bang could have originated from a quantum fluctuation in space-time itself. The holographic principle proposes that the universe is a hologram, with every point in space representing a unique information pattern. This theory suggests that while the information contained in the universe is finite, the universe itself is infinite in size. Finally, the emergent universe theory posits that the universe is an emergent property of a more fundamental system, such as a quantum computer or a complex network. The Big Bang, in this theory, could have been caused by the emergence of our universe from this more fundamental system. Each of these theories offers a unique lens through which we can view our universe's origins and evolution, enriching our understanding of the cosmos. In the ever-evolving field of cosmology, new theories continually emerge, pushing the boundaries of our understanding. One such theory is the non-locality theory, which proposes that the Big Bang was triggered by non-local quantum entanglement between particles. This theory envisions the universe as a vast network of entangled particles, with the Big Bang being an outcome of a non-local quantum event that sparked our observable universe. Then there's the holographic inflation theory. This theory suggests that the Big Bang was the result of a holographic projection of information from a higher dimensional space. The universe, according to this theory, experienced an inflationary expansion in its early formation stages, potentially creating a multitude of parallel universes. Finally, we have the simulated reality theory. This theory postulates that our universe is a simulation created by a technologically advanced civilization. The Big Bang could have been the boot-up process of this simulation. It suggests our universe is just one of many simulations each with a unique set of physical laws and properties. These theories, while speculative and unproven, challenge our current understanding of the universe and its origins. They highlight the complexity and multifaceted nature of the universe and the many unanswered questions that remain. Before we wrap up, I'd like to give an honourable mention to a concluding theory. The idea of a singular, central point that the entirety of the past contributed to creating and upon which the entirety of the future depends. This concept aligns with the notion of a divine creator, irrespective of the name or form you attribute to it. The takeaway, the universe is a breathtaking masterpiece and our role is to marvel at its wonders and continue our quest to understand it better. Thank you for joining our cosmic journey today. If our discussion sparked new thoughts, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the cosmos.